Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and this is a recipe demo of my summer tea. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. This is one of those things where the amount of each ingredient is up to you. But we'll start by brewing two to four tea bags of green tea. My container holds about one liter, so I'm making an intense brew that I can water down later. I like to serve this at a barbecue or a cookout, and it's just a really nice offering to have for the guest when they first come in before we get into the wine. And then we'll add a handful of mint twigs to also brew with the tea. I generally like less green tea and more mint, but mint can be a polarizing flavor to some people, so if you use just a little, it'll simply brighten up the drink rather than have a minty flavor. And remember, you want to add this when the water is still hot so that the mint is also brewing. And you also want to add one to two whole dates to the hot water so they can sweeten the mixture. And that's the only sweetener we'll use. And I really love using dates like this. They can be so mellow. And let this sit for a few minutes. It's going to stay hot for a long time because you would have used boiling water to brew the tea and the mint. Uh, so if you're going to serve this immediately, it's gonna melt your ice cubes pretty quickly. So you may wanna make this the day before so that it can all cool down. And then the next step is to add some citrus and both lemon and lime work best together. Now I'm using three of each, but with the light green tea, I might should have started with just one and a half each because by the time I tasted this, it was pretty citrusy. It really just tasted like, uh, like a lemonade. And I'm using a strainer to keep the seeds out and then throwing the whole citrus in with everything else because it looks pretty in the pitcher, especially if you have a large glass pitcher to serve this in. And that's, that's it, y'all. If you make a strong brew, remember to water it down when you serve it. And you've got a bright, refreshing summer beverage to serve at your cookout or just to keep yourself hydrated. I like to serve mine with another sprig of fresh mint because I love the smell. But honestly, any herb like rosemary or even basil would do well in this tea. And I mean like to brew it with the green tea. It's all about the aromatics and the freshness. So you can get the ingredient list at cookingcompaniontv.com slash summer tea. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to this channel for more demos like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.